So do you think that companies are doing a good enough job at harnessing data and and using that to be able to introduce these new technologies in a successful way? They're doing a great job harnessing the data. They need to protect <laughs> it. Um, so that this is one of the other misconceptions about uh, artificial intelligence. The data, in some respects, is actually more valuable than the software itself. So the software is enormously complex, but it is somewhat commoditized. You can go on Google tomorrow and train their AI to be able to differentiate between a cat and a dog in pictures. That's really powerful artificial intelligence software, and it's, it's free, and anyone can use it. The problem is collecting all that data to feed into the AI to make those insights. So that's why you have all these questions around Facebook and the use of that data and the other kind of major technology companies right. and how they're protecting it for their customers. Um, when you think about some of this data, most people probably don't care. So in autonomous vehicles right now, a lot of that data collection is just how do people drive? I don't really care if a car is collecting how I drive, but people probably do want to protect where they're driving and why, uh, why they're driving there, and, and the, the more kind of conversations they're having in their car. The, exactly, <laughs> the conversations in the car, the things they're saying to the other drivers behind their backs. That's what we want to have protected, and so I think there needs to be a, a better job of protecting it, and also just kind of better outreach between these companies and their consumers about here's what data we're collecting and why and how we're using it, and here's the data we're not collecting. Right. It seems like that's one of the big, bigger challenges that a lot of these tech companies are facing right now is. Like you said, they're doing a great job at <laughs> harnessing that data, but but how can we protect it? And do we really have an answer yet for for that big problem? I don't think we do. Yeah, I mean the you know one way is the government regulates it, which I don't think the government's prepared to do yet, frankly. Um, and the other option is that these companies regulate themselves, and they don't want to do that, but that might be a way that they can kind of do a better job of understanding, you know, how they're using the data and protecting it. So. We'll see. Because consumer trust is really important, right? So is, is that maybe the benefit of self-regulation, getting that consumer trust? I think it is. I mean, you look at aspects of the finance industry and it's actually self-regulated if you look at exchanges. So there's precedent for this and for it working pretty well. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you're using a product that's free, which a lot of social media is and a lot of these um, platforms that are collecting our data, then there's not a huge switching cost to go use a different platform that's also free. So they really need to engender this trust with their consumers. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you want to watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.